I have such a hard time keeping the animals out of my garden, so this year I decided to build them their own fountain. Fortunately, I had most of the supplies on hand already. I only had to buy the solar fountain. It was about $20 and I wanted some decorative rocks, so those cost me about $20 as well. Before I really committed myself to this project, I set up sort of a mock version of the fountain just to make sure that everything worked the way I thought it would before I really dug the hole and um, started the real hard work of the project. And as soon as I set it up, a hummingbird came to visit right away, so I knew I was on the right track. Why does every garden project involve so much digging? Well, just like every other project that I do, it seems this one involved digging a hole. That was another reason that I really liked the idea for this project because all of the water in the fountain is actually below ground and it should ideally keep the water a lot cooler. I should lose less to evaporation and you know, it's a cool drink for the animals. The tube I had for my fountain wasn't very long, so I had to find a way to elevate the pump off the bottom of the bucket. So I just flipped over an old plastic uh, plant container and zip tied the pump to the top of that container, and that got the water trickling from high enough so that it actually created a fountain. The next thing that I had to do is uh, figure out the lid. So um, you do need a lid that's gonna go over the top of the fountain. Uh, the reason I was attracted to this project is because it keeps the debris like leaves and sticks and stuff out so it doesn't clog your uh, pump, but you can still get in there and service the pump when you need to and clean out the bucket as needed just by lifting off the lid. So fortunately for me, I had this um, old metal grate that used to be on an old fire pit that we had and some old window screens. So I stretched the window screen over the grill for the fire pit and used some wire I just had hanging around to stitch it on there. And then what do you know, I had the perfect lid for the fountain. Then I cut a small hole so that the little fountain um, trickling thing, I don't know what you want to call it, um, comes up through the hole so nothing is obstructing the actual flow of water. And if I need to service the pump, I can just take the lid right off. And next we fill her up. And then, totally not necessary, but still a lot of fun, I decorated around the fountain, uh, mostly to disguise the lid, but then also just to give it an, a nice look and then hopefully attract the little animals to it and give them something to dig around in besides my garden this summertime. As I mentioned, I purchased the rocks because I wanted some really pretty rocks. Um, definitely, again, not necessary. That would have saved me $20 on this project, but I think they look really nice. And then I just had some old silk flowers hanging around from other projects that I just recycled for this project. Down the road, I'll probably do something a little bit more beautiful, but for now, I think it looks pretty nice. For my birthday this year, my dad got me this really awesome trail camera. So of course I had to set it up and see if I was getting any visitors to the fountain. It's only been a couple of days, but I've already got some really cool shots. I know I have a ton of junk all around my fountain, but trust me, that gets into my next project. It's a big surprise. You'll have to follow my channel to see what the next project is and see who else comes to visit my fountain this summer.